Hello everybody, welcome. We are here at the Amazing Animal Kingdom for their 25th anniversary. It's finally rolling. We've been here a couple of times prior to the anniversary, actually rolling on the lookout for different snacks and treats and merchandise, and we found some, but today is the official, finally, it has begun. So we finally got it right. So we're here today, and there's one specific thing that we're gonna actually try today that um, it's kind of a secret, so I'm excited but we're here specifically for that, so stay tuned and we'll find out what it is. Well, the 25th anniversary of Animal Kingdom is in full swing and there are so many things to do here. Unfortunately, a lot of the things that you would do here, all the character meet and greets and things like that, are all during the daytime hours, like the early afternoon, like noon to four. So anytime after that, you're not going to see a lot of the different festivities. A lot of the entertainment is gone, a lot of the characters are gone, so you really need to come a little bit earlier. But Animal Kingdom is just such a nice place. I love it. I love all the different animals that they have, um, and it feels really good here today. Like, it, it feels, it's nice and warm, it's not too hot out, not too moist. Uh, it feels actually really good, and it smells great, like a, that, that just that Florida air, I just love the way it smells. You can see right here, this is the Moana meet and greet, but you can see it's closed. Uh, there's no times or anything, so... Yeah, just an example of like all the meet and greets pretty much shut down around 4 or 5 o'clock, so if you come here later than that, you're going to miss out. Look at this ring-tailed lemurs. Hanging out. Chilling out on his little perch there, and there's another one. Oh no, he's moving. Hey, little guy. It's another one down there. Just hanging out. I feel like most people don't know that these are here. There's never anybody over here. They're just kind of chilling, doing their own little thing. Okay, so as I said, the 25th anniversary is in the full swing, but the real reason that we came here is because a gauntlet has been thrown down. Because the last time we came here and tried this particular dessert, somebody, and I won't mention names, said that it was better than mine. So today, we decided to come back and we brought third-party perspective into the equation these two fine people who are my kids who have tried my ultimate delicious cupcakes. So we now have two more people who are gonna weigh in on this debate. The gauntlet has been thrown down and my cupcakes shall not be denied. All I know is this better be the best cupcake I ever had. Or will that? I'll tell the truth. I'm gonna tell the truth. They'll tell, they're gonna tell the truth that my cupcakes are better. So this coveted cupcake is at Flame Tree Barbecue, so we're gonna pick it up. I already had, I went ahead and ordered. Uh, so we've already got it ready to go. Pick up window number three, which I see right over here. So we're going to slide in here. Oh, I already see the cupcakes. Let's grab them. Okay, we got them. They look so good. I actually got two of them this time because four people was not sharing one cupcake. Not this. The, the cupcake was this good. We usually just get one and we kind of like all try it. But this time we got two because I need everyone to get the full force of this cupcake so we can evaluate it properly um, but it looks delicious and this is none other than Ta -da -da! it's the flamingo cupcake again yum the flamingo cupcake looks so good so let me talk let me tell you what it says is in this thing it's strawberry cake and has strawberry compote filling. I like the I like the thing that Disney is doing with putting filling inside of their cupcakes. I'm a fan of that. Um, although I remember last time there wasn't much in it, but I like when they try to put some filling in there. Then it has a guava buttercream, which sounds weird, but um, was good. Pink crispy pearls, sugar flamingo, and white chocolate wings. So here we go. We're just gonna dive into this thing and. Um, I just want to tell you both good luck. We're all counting on you on trying to actually get this cupcake out of the wrapper without destroying it. I've already I tried. Or I was looking to yeah. see how we were going to do this. It's difficult. Let's see. There's like no good way. It, the icing looks really good. You know, you just gotta, you just gotta go. Oh, I'm not, I'm not looking at this I'm not. I don't think that's working, Nick. There you go. Oh, she's got it. 
she's, she's tearing it over. Yeah. Here. I had to get it all in. Yeah, she's tearing it up here. Here we go. She's she's getting it. Yeah, I remember that that pink uh, like icing stained. Uh, do you feel? I feel like the pink icing was like brighter last time. Maybe not. Yeah. All right. It does stain. Yeah. All right. So the wings are just white chocolate, so you can always rip those off and get rid of them if you want. The head is just sugar. Yeah, try the wing. Yeah. yeah. It's white chocolate, mm -hmm. right? All right, now for the entree. <laughs> Ooh, that's most of it. I'm a fan of crunchies. Yum. The texture of the crunchies is really good. Flavor of the cupcake is really good. Yeah. Like you can really, it's a strawberry cupcake, obviously. Mm -hmm. Like you can really tell that it's strawberry. And it doesn't, it tastes like real strawberry, mm -hmm. not like a super artificial. Did you like the little balls? Strawberry? I think they're good. Yeah. Did you taste them separately? They actually taste. Yeah, there's the middle. I'm not gonna lie. It's just me, but I know people may like it. I'm not a fan of the middle part. Yeah, I know he <laughs> wouldn't. He doesn't like jelly or anything. I don't, yeah. I don't. The crunchies are. I don't see probably my favorite thing. Yeah. So the cupcake is good. So you've already tried it again and you mangled it. I didn't even get to try it yet, but you got it. Is it the same is it the same as last time? The icing was melty last time, if you remember. Yeah. Um, and the cupcake was warmer because they had ran out and they had just gotten made more. I don't know. But this is cold. Um, which I don't prefer. Um, the cupcake part is cold, like it's been in the refrigerator, where it was not last time, and mm -hmm. it was warm. Um, I, the flavors are still on point. And I absolutely love it still, but I do prefer it last time because it was warm. Yeah, I well, I was, I was trying to get one of those wings off, uh, one of these wings right here. I was trying to get it off the icing, and I couldn't get it off because the icing was like hard, so I could tell it was refrigerated. Yeah. But now that we're kind of sitting here. And it's it's starting to soften up. I can see it. It's getting like a little, a little wetter and softening up. So maybe I'll just wait a couple minutes. I had to put the camera down and just try a piece because everyone was was eating it, eating their cupcakes, and it was making me jealous because it looks so delicious. It's definitely cold though. It's colder than last time. time we film right here there's something creature that distracts us back there well there was yeah it's a lizard that time right there. there's a lizard I saw a squirrel a minute ago and we definitely see an alligator over there one time yeah we did and it was not small Ooh. okay yum I just had a bite man it's good okay so overall assessments we were here because we not only did we want them to try this cupcake because it's probably the best cupcake if not one of the best if not the best cupcakes we've ever had at Disney um, I want to know, is it better than my cupcakes, my strawberry cupcakes or not? So we're going to go down the list and we're going to get the opinions. So it's a good cupcake. I do like it. The flavors are good. It's moist. The icing is good. I'm not a fan of the middle, um, but I already knew. I knew I wasn't going to be a fan. My favorite part is probably the, I don't even know what's on top, just the... A little crunchy, little, little crunchy, little crispy pearls. They yeah, crispy flavor. pearls. They're not just like, yeah. That's probably like my, my favorite. The second question, for me, I'm gonna say no. They're not, it's not better than your cupcake, but it's heavily on the icing because the icing is my favorite part of the cupcake and how much icing is on it. Um, but it's a really good cupcake. I, I would try it if, if you like cupcakes. There's yeah, a lot of icing good. on top. Um, texture is really good. You have to like strawberry. Like, yeah, yeah, you have to like strawberry. Um, you don't necessarily have to like the middle thing to eat it. You can eat around it, which I'm glad it was just a little bit because if it was a lot, it would have been kind of hard to eat around. But yeah, that's my opinion on it. I actually really liked it. Um, the cup, like the actual cupcake, is very moist and it tastes like legit strawberries, not like the fake strawberry flavor you get with some other things. Um, didn't like the middle, but I don't really like any like strawberry puree or anything like those little strawberry chunks in it. I like just strawberries or just like a syrup. Um, the icing is really good. The icing has a good texture too. Um, I don't know if I taste much guava in it. There is a little something in there, but um, I don't think it's too strong. 
The, of course, the little balls on top are the best part because I love like anything crunchy. Like I, I think it adds texture. Better than yours? <laughs> no, I don't think so. But I'm very, very simple when it comes to the sweet things. But um, this is sweet enough, which seems to be very lacking in Disney's desserts. But I think that's one of the better Disney desserts that I've had. Okay, this is your second time, your second try at it. Do you still think it's better than my cupcake, or have you changed your mind? <laughs> I haven't changed my mind. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Um, I what? love his. They're like this. But they're so different to me. I don't know. This one just tastes so much like strawberries. And strawberries like one of my favorite things. And I rarely even eat strawberry flavored things because I feel like they don't taste like strawberries. Yeah. And like I don't eat strawberry ice cream or anything. And I love strawberries. I can eat like a whole thing of strawberries. I did today actually. Um, and this tastes like strawberries. I love everything about it. I love the icing. I love the crunchy things. I love the middle part, whatever that is. Love the cake. Liked it better warm, but yes. Okay, so that's two votes for my cupcake, one vote for Disney's cupcake, and I'm going to have to vote myself, and it's pretty obvious to me that I'm going to vote for my own cupcake. So, that means, if I've done the math correctly, three votes for my cupcake and only one for the Disney cupcake. So, <sighs> insert sound effect. Yeah! You're so amazing. I'll allow it. So, uh, thank you. I think mine wins the day, so, um, but an awesome cupcake. I actually feel like Disney's been watching all of our videos, and we've complained a lot about sugar not being in the cupcakes, and the cupcakes being very, like, um, stodgy, and they finally, after all, after watching so many of our videos saying the same thing, they don't actually watch our videos. They finally, I feel like they're getting the message. So I don't know, maybe other people are also saying the same things, but I feel like they're finally getting the message. They're putting sugar into their desserts and they're improving their cupcakes. At least this one. At least this one. But lately I feel like we've had a lot of decent cupcakes and we've had a lot of good cupcakes at Flame Tree Barbecue. So I'm happy that they're finally getting the message. They're finally listening to us or whoever, I don't know, but they're listening because it's getting better. Woohoo! Keep it up, Disney. I want more good desserts. Well, we're gonna head over to Expedition Everest, and I love this little thing they created right here. Every time I see it, it's just so cool. It's like this, like, I don't know what you would call this, like a sculpture or like a statue or whatever you want to call it, decoration. But it mimics the peaks of Expedition Everest. So if I come back and line it up, you can see Expedition Everest. So it basically mirrors all the peaks. Let me see if I can line it up. See? Isn't that cool? I love that every time I see it. Expedition Everest. One of my favorite rides here. Man, look at this. There's no wait time. It says 15 minutes, but I already see people coming from the uh, shop over there doing a... You're re-riding, aren't you? You just got off, yeah, didn't you? Okay. I can tell. Yeah. <laughs> That's how you do it when there's only a 15 minute wait. <laughs> it's, like, it's like five. That's, That's it. <laughs> So we're gonna do the same thing, I can't wait. Expedition Everest team members should proceed to the loading platform. Once on board, please take your seat immediately. Expedition Everest, waiting for the front row today. Uh, we decided front row instead of the back row. This is one of only a handful of rides that I actually like riding in the back. Um, usually I pick the front row on every ride, but there's a couple of rides where I actually do like the back seat as well as the front, this is one of them. Woohoo! Here we go! 
Cabrat. I love riding this ride, especially when there's no weight. It's not nighttime yet, though. Maybe we'll have to come back a little bit later and ride it again. I told her that um, before Avatar was here and stuff, that was my favorite ride here. Um, so it's still good every time. Honestly, I think I like it better in the back. We, we ride it in the back sometimes. Um, just because it, it feels like, it feels different in the back. Like you kind of feel like you're in the front in a way. Um, if you rode the ride, you know. But yeah, I mean, I love it. I said the same thing. I said there's only a handful of rides that I like in the back. I'm a front row kind of person on most rides, but Expedition Everest is one of the ones that I think the back row is awesome, and I could I could do either one and be happy. So, yeah, I love that ride. That ride's so cool. I really wish they'd get back to A mode with the Yeti, though. It's been too many years of Disco Yeti. It's time to, it's time to buckle down and fix him up. Well, it looks like they got another private party happening over at Harambe Market. I've been seeing these more and more lately, and I'm always jealous that I'm not in the party. I wanna work somewhere where they have cool after hours parties for the whole company at Magic Kingdom or Animal Kingdom like that. I worked for a company one time that had private party, uh, not private parties, but it was like they rented out like the shelters at Kings Island. And that was pretty fun, I like that. I can't imagine like actually getting to do it here at Disney World and some places even rent out the whole park. So it like they closed the park down for a few hours at night, and then every and they basically the whole company has the run of the parks. That would be so cool. Okay, so we are <laughs> we are headed over to Pandora to try to hop on. Hey, how's it going? Uh, we are trying to hop on either. See, look at that Festival of Lion King last show five o'clock, first show ten o'clock. So like if you're not here by five o'clock. Most of the stuff is gone, so, oh well. Um, but we're trying to make it over to Pandora before this place closes so that we can ride either Navi River Ride or Flight of Passage. But we only have like a few minutes left to get there before the park closes. And you can kind of see it's very empty over here because the park's almost closed and nobody really hangs out here in the late evening hours. Which is why I like coming over here because it's nice and quiet. Which means if you want a private restroom, 
in the evening hours of the park, this is the best one to go to. Right over here past Lion Kings, there's nobody over here. During the Lion King shows, not, not a very good one to go to because there's a lot of people hanging out here. But late at night, after Lion King's over and no one comes through here, it's a good one. Two minutes. We just entered Pandora. We're heading in. We only got two minutes. We're almost there. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Let's go, let's go. Well, you can see it's still not dark. Um, so, even though the park closes in two minutes, you're not getting the nighttime glow experience. I just think that's so disappointing. But again, and I've said this on other videos, the secret is to get on Flight of Passage. Flight of Passage right now said it was an 85 minute wait. I'm betting it's more like a 45 minute wait or less, probably maybe even half an hour. And if you do that right now, by the time you come out, it will be dark. So you'll get the full like Pandora glow in the dark experience. Although it doesn't glow nearly as much now as it used to back in the day. A lot of the paint has worn off. But from my understanding, they are gonna be refurbing this area. I think they announced it actually, that they're refurbing this area very soon, which is desperately needed because they need to repaint all the ground um, and, and fix some of the glow spots. Oh, I hear a banshee over there. This just doesn't glow like it used to. So we chose to do Navi instead of Flight of Passage. Because um, Nick has only ridden Navi one time. And how long ago was that? Uh, 2019. 2019? Yeah, what is I'm that, like four years? Three, four? Three years ago? Yeah. Four years ago? Four, yeah. My, my math, math was very hard for me right there. See, I'm, as you get I'm older, done. you lose it. I've done the other Flight of Passage a million times. Yeah. You gotta choose one at the end of the night. Yeah, you gotta choose one and Flight of Passage almost always wins. Yeah, it, it does. It's just, sometimes we choose this because the wait time. And we're like, I don't really want to stay that late after the park closes. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of ready to go home. So we choose this. It's good to actually do this one once in a while. I still remember the first time we ever rode this. We rope dropped it and went here instead of going to Flight of Passage. And I'll be honest, that was the worst mistake we could have ever made. Rope dropping Navi River Adventure, River Ride, instead of Flight of Passage. Now we did come back and rope drop Flight of Passage right after that. And we did have, well, we, we, we did have a fast pass for, ride, uh, for Flight of Passage that day. But I would have rather ridden Flight of Passage twice. Uh, you could have, we could have actually rope dropped Flight of Passage and then came over here right after. Um, and there wasn't really a long line for this, so. Wasn't a good choice, but whatever. We still ended up riding both of them regardless.
It's starting to get a little darker, so you're starting to see some of the lights come out. We just got off Navi, um, and you know we didn't—we actually was walk-on, so we didn't have to wait at all. And even then, without having to wait, just getting off that ride, it's already starting to get dark. So you can see if you waited 30 minutes to an hour for Flight of Passage, it would definitely be darker out here, and you'd get the full experience. I really wish they'd bring back the nighttime hours at Animal Kingdom. I loved being able to stay here till 9 or 10 o'clock and then doing the nighttime safari. I thought that was awesome. Did you guys like the nighttime safari? It was my favorite one. Yeah, I just thought it was so much fun, right? Yeah. I miss doing that. I know you can still do a nighttime safari, but you have to pay money for it. Come on, Disney. $89.95 per person, she said. And I'm like, no, nah, I'm not down with that. It used to be free. And I think it's in like a Jeep, though, instead of like those trucks. Actually, it might be in those trucks. I really don't know. Um, so, but I'm like, I liked it. It had like the sunset on the safari. I mean, on the, um, the the savannah. Like they had like this cool sunset thing there. And it was always a different experience at night because you'd see different animals because a lot of the animals would come out more at nighttime. It was just really cool. I wish they'd bring that back because being here at Animal Kingdom at nighttime is just a different experience. And you don't really get to do that much. So maybe this summer. We'll see. There's the little hidden helicopter thing. I don't know what they're called. Whatever they're called in the movies. It's hard to see at nighttime. You can see it better in the daytime. It's like a crashed, one of those crashed helos or whatever they're called, ships. Hanging out over there. All right. Um, we're in the secret cave. Check it out. The secret cave. Honestly, this cave's been blocked off lately. I don't know why, but it's open today. So we're in the secret cave on our way out of the park. It's um, not very secret because there was people right behind us. So. <laughs> whatever. Nobody needs to know that. It's secret. It's a secret cave. Um, so anyway, this was a lot of fun. So we're going to have a lot of echo in this outro. So um, I had a blast. We have to do Expedition Everest, Navi River Ride. We could have done Flight of Passage, but eh, that'll do that next time. And we tried the second best cupcake in the world. <laughs> yeah. After my cupcakes. <laughs> Um, but overall, we had a blast. Um, I really wanted to eat a Yak and Yeti for dinner here, though. Every time I walk by, I want to eat there. I, it's hard for me to pass by it, but Nick was like, can we eat somewhere else? Do we have to eat a Yak and Yeti? <laughs> He's getting tired of our Yak and Yeti madness. But um, we had a good time. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Be sure to tune in next time and hit that notification so you know when it drops. Till we see you next time, the no boy. It's the easy way. Bye-bye, everybody. Way. <laughs>